sisters, thank you for tuning in. This is Law Life Visualize School, and I'm teacher Hezekiah. Tonight's class is a commandment corner, and it's going to be, Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. I'm going to cover some, and happy Sabbath, by the way. Happy Sabbath, and I pray that you had a happy new moon. I pray that you had a happy new, new moon and happy Sabbath. I pray that your week has been well. Um, we're going to cover being a false witness, bearing false witness, lying, lying on each other. Uh, some some people lie to make themselves look good. Some lie to make themselves make sure uh, to keep people around them to make them look righteous. But we're going to just cover the scriptures on bearing false witness. Let's see what the Most High has to say about that. Let's go to First Peter chapter two and verse two. And you know, we got to stop doing that, man. Esau and the other heathens, especially us brothers and sisters who have repented, coming back to the Most High, you know, we try to live according to what the scriptures say. We try to we try to be examples to our brothers and sisters who are still lost out there. We try to do that, but we can't seem to get away with the do away with the old man. We we want to continue to be in lies. We use social media to lie and slander each other, just like Esau and the other heathens have done to us. You know, they use the news, they use movies, they use the television and internet to smear us, to discredit us, to make us look horrible, to make us look like a, a, a people who are savages and animals. And it seems that Israel, our, even ourselves, within our uh, repentance, supposedly, we do the same thing to each other on Facebook and Twitter. We use this, we use, instead of using that social media to exhort one another, to bring up and uplift our people, we use it as a grounds to continue on the same cycle as the our oppressors have done to us. And they bear false witness against us also. So let's go to First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Let's desire the truth, the word. Let's desire the truth. Let's not uh, bear false witness. Let's, let, let's not lie anymore. It's time to stop playing games. It's time to, that's why we can't get none of these curses uplifted off of us. We, you got all these brothers and sisters repenting, coming to the uh, knowledge that they know who they are. Yet we can't see this get no uh, curses lifted off of us. We're still in the midst of wickedness. Because now we're just wearing the uniform, but we're not keeping what this Bible uh, is telling us. So we got to desire this truth. Desire the word in truth and sincerity. That's what sincerity, being sincere, being honest, being humble. Uh, I want to get the definition of false. False. Not according with truth or fact, incorrect, appearing to be the thing denoted, deliberately made or meant to deceive, false. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20 in verse 16. Israel, it's time to stop. Playtime is over. And, and you know, we keep doing it because we, we're still unlearned. Brothers and sisters are not studying these scriptures. Sisters and brothers are following what somebody else may say. We're being a respectful person. Instead of investigating those things for yourself, what you do, you just follow the, the, the crowd at chow time. You're being, you're being led by blind men. You, the blind is leading the blind. And you're going to be punished for that. Your best repents. And the Most High also can have you into those lies. He can put that spirit on you because you, you might be destined to be put to death. Who knows? Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. This is out of the Ten Commandments. We know there are over 613 commandments in the scriptures. But here we go to... 10 of the umbrella laws, the foundation that can spawn to all different other things. So number, uh, we're going to Exodus 20 and 16. Thou shalt not 
bear a false witness against thy neighbor. So the scripture is telling us, don't lie on your brother. Don't, let's get false again, not according with truth or fact. See, a lot of people don't get the facts to the matter. They just base it on one of them and run with it. And you're going to run yourself into them flames. That's what's going to happen. Because you don't want to humble yourself and do what the Bible say. We always try to please men. That's all we do. We want to hang with the popular crowd. The popular crowd might be in the midst of wickedness. What we do, I'm, I'm going to hang with them. I don't want to hang with them. Don't nobody really know them. Then you bear false witness on your brothers and your sisters. Okay? Let's continue on. Let's go to Numbers. So you're not to bear false witness, meaning don't tell no lie on your brother and sisters to make yourself look righteous or to make yourself to, to hide your damn wickedness. Let's go to Numbers chapter 23, and I want verse 19. Let's get this. Let's see if are we fitting this. Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. The Most High is not a man that he's going to lie. He, he, he's, he's the Most High. He's the creator of it all. His word is bond, so he don't have to lie. He's not a man. This fleshly, us men, us women, we, we're prone to tell some lies. Yet, yeah, we're supposed to be in the image of the Most High. Let's see, are you, are you mirroring the Most High? Are you in his image? Are you walking in his ways? Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man, that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? If the Most High spoke it, he do it. He gave us promises. He doing it. He, everything you see in these scriptures, the Most High doing it. Because this, this is his word. His word is born. He created everything, and it, it happened. He ain't lie about it. I'm going to continue on. Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? The most High tell you not to bear false witness towards your brothers and your sisters. And he mean that. And you're going to be put to death if you're in the midst of that. If you're a part of it, if you're affiliated with it, or you if you're in agreement with it, if you haven't stood up for the truth, you're going to be put to death for that because you associate yourself with that. You don't associate yourself with the most high. You don't associate uh, associate yourself with the truth. You associate yourself with how men feel and what their uh, opinions are and not the facts and not the facts. So the most high, we're supposed to be like him. We're supposed to be in his image. As a matter of fact, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Because he, he, he required you to do something. Especially you brothers and sisters know who you are now. We, we, we'll go over these scriptures, we'll yell at our brothers and sisters in the streets and down our family members and all that. But you're not doing what the Bible say. You're not doing what the Bible say. So you're a hypocrite. You, you're, you're wicked. You, you're those vipers that uh, John, when they came, they baptized. He said, where you come? Where are you going, you vipers? You're sons of the devil. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Most High require of you, Israelites? You brothers and sisters who know who you are. He required to our brothers and sisters who are lost. That's why we have to give them the message. Like, I'm about to give you this message about being a false witness, about uh, lying on each other. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, fear the Lord thy God. That's a that's a heavy uh, part of the scripture. Because you know what? Your actions show that you don't fear the most high. Because if you are lying or bear false witness on your brother or sister, you have no fear of the most high. You must know, and, and a lot of it comes from your unlearned. You don't you don't study for yourself. You're a parakeet, you you're a shadow, shadow boxer. You're doing what somebody else do. You're a follower. Follow what the Bible say, then you won't be confounded. Fear the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways. Walk in all his ways. We just read in Numbers, he's not a, a man to lie. 
So we should we need to stop lying to one another. We need to stop lying to the brothers and sisters who are lost. Because you know how we lie to them? With our examples. Oh, look at these brothers. They say they know who they are. They know they say they got the truth. They know what the cures and the uh, ways we can get out of this captivity. But hold up. They always fussing with each other. They always do it. And somebody got to be lying in the midst of that. There's some lying going on. But you're not walking in the ways of the Most High. You're not. And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. And this is for your good. Stop lying. Stop bearing false witness. Exodus 20 and 16 say, Thou shalt not bear false witness to your neighbor, to your brother. And that's what it just said here. To keep the commandments, and that's the commandment of the Most High. To you, Israel, you brothers and sisters, to you brothers and sisters, it's high, it's high time that you come out of that old man. When are you going to throw away the old man? A lot of you just put on a, a new uniform, but you still got the old man up under it. You still got the old man up under it. Let's go to Proverbs 19 in verse 19. I tell you, Israel, it said, you know what? It, it's so vexing that we acquire this truth and this knowledge and we still have to battle one another. You think you'll come get this and be comfortable. You'll find some comfort in this, in this sanctuary of the Most High amongst brothers and sisters. It's supposed to be a nation. But what we do, we divide each other up within the nation. All this division, a lot, all this lying. Everybody want to choose sides and choose the most high side. Choose that. And who gives a damn what somebody got to say about it? If uh, your leaders from the top to the bottom got a problem with the most high words, let them deal with the most high with that. Don't you be that respected person and say, I'm going to just do it because. Okay? You're going to burn just because. Let's go to uh, Proverbs chapter 19 to verse 19. A false witness shall not be unpunished. You may be living it up right now. You may be out there just as teaching your souls off, but you will be punished. You, you, you know in your heart, deep in your soul, that you have told lies. You have bare false witness towards your brothers and sisters. But you live your life because you're wicked as hell. Only a wicked person with that wicked spirit can carry on the way our people do after they lie on each other and still carry on like they in righteousness. It's okay, though, because you know what? Vengeance is the most high. I'm only going to be the messenger. Lord's willing, you'll repent. You'll humble yourself. But the most high direct your steps. He may want you to be that light. Somebody got to be that light. Somebody got to be that example. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. So just like I said, you're going to be put to death. You're going to be put to death if you don't straighten up, Israel. If we continue to be in the midst of teaching all these lies to our people, if we uh, continue to scatter the brothers and sisters and bring on division due to your lies, due to your, 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 your haughtiness and your proud arrogant ways, you're going to be put to death, and you're going to have a lot of other people put to death with them. You're going to be having a lot of other people put to death with you. As a matter of fact, I want to get something else. Let's go to Jeremiah right quick. Especially us brothers and brothers who are in so-called leader positions. We teaching our people. We're supposed to be teaching our people what the Bible says. Stop adding in what we feel. Stop adding in our ways. Yeah, you may have a vision. Implement that vision correlated with the scriptures, not with your own vain uh, opinions. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 23. I want Jeremiah chapter 23, and I'm going to read verses 1 and 2. We, 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 no fear. There's no fear of the Most High. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Woe 
be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. The most I say, woe, destruction to the pastors. Yeah, uh, we'll say this is for the pastor Creflo Dollar. We'll say this is for uh, the T.D. Jakes. No, this is for you brothers who are in Israel. You, you leaders, you pastors who teach the most high his law, law statutes and commandments. This, this is talking about you. We need to straighten up. We need, it says, woe. It says, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. You know how you scatter them, your the, the, the sheep? First of all, you'll bear false witness on brothers and sisters. You'll discredit them and smear them on the social media and just, just recklessly have everybody, oh, join it in. Yeah, they wicked. Yeah, they this. Yeah, and nobody has even examined the truth for themselves. Haven't done that now, but they believe everything that man has to say. Everything that the people they feel is spiritual and righteous men say. Then you can also look at it like it really don't fit. It really don't make sense. But hey, I'm gonna do it anyway. Hey, I'm going to join the crowd. I'm a, we don't get some scriptures on that. But I want to go back to this, to you leaders, to you leaders out there who's scattering the flock of the Most High, bringing all this division, instead of just speaking what the Bible said, let it be. Woe be unto, be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Verse 2, Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. We, we're feeding our people. We're giving them this milk. You may give them some meat. You're feeding them. You're leading them. And you lead by example. You lead by what the scriptures say. But if your example is bearing false witness just to make yourself look good, uh, not uh, man enough to admit your uh, problems, your, your, your lies, you, you, you know, came and just be real 100, as they say, with a person. Just keep it real with brothers and sisters. Then what you do, you'll go lie on them and make yourself look good just because you got problems with yourself. I'm going to read this again. Therefore said the Lord, thy God, Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. And have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. You know how you scatter your flock too? When you put out orders, unfriend somebody. I'm going to just, I'm going to touch on that for a few seconds. Unfriend somebody. What type of spiritual leader will put out unfriend somebody on some darn Facebook sites over nothing? You got brothers out here teaching putting up scriptures, videos, and what the brothers do? They come in, try to bring down the brother's spirit. You don't exhort the brother. You don't, just because you ain't in the same so-called camp or group. We supposed to be Israel. We supposed to be one nation. But what you're doing, you're scattering the flock. Unfriended. And I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to tell you from the law life side of things. We don't care about you unfriending nobody. You understand? That doesn't hurt anybody's feelings. And for you to even think that hurts somebody feeling unfriendly, you wasn't a friend in the first place. You was an associate. You know, y'all really think you hurt somebody's feelings. And brothers out here trying to do the work of the most high, then we still got to deal with this type of foolishness. You have to bear false witness. And I'm gonna go ahead. And I, this just been sitting and marinating. Now it's time. Let me go to Sirach. Playtime is over. We keep playing with Israel. We keep playing with these leaders in the midst of these congregations. And we see the foolishness, and yet we don't speak on it. We don't speak on it. But now the time has come to speak on it. You're going to stop bearing false witness against people. You're breaking people's spirits. You're scattering the flock. People leaving the truth. Because they, 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 and you know, that's the most high put the spirit on them too. 
They don't get no pity party. But when the leaders and brothers who know scriptures are driving them away due to they want to be all, I'm this, I'm that, I'm wise. You're going to do what I say. Oh, you ain't been in the truth this long. You Negroes going to be put to death. Christ was 10 to 12 years old in the synagogue's teaching. Daniel was a young man who rebuked elders and was accounted as an elder due to his wisdom. Show me the scripture where it tell you you got to be in the truth a certain amount of time to teach these scriptures. If the Most High put his spirit on you to teach these scriptures and they are correct, instead of you coming and saying, you know what, brother, that really don't mean that. Then you give the wrong scripture to justify what you had to say. That's foolishness. It's foolishness. And it's going to cease. The Most High gonna, he's going he's gonna to make you look so stupid at the end. I'm going to Sirach chapter, uh, what I want? I want chapter 20, and I'm going to read verse 7. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool would not regard time. Let me read that again. Let me read verse 6. Some man holdeth his tongue because he have not to answer. You know, it's been a while. I, 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 me, this law life, we are school, we are seven months years old. We are, we've been around seven months. And all we get is ridicule, false witness. Let me straighten out some things right now so it can be clear to all you brothers and sisters out there in Israel. We didn't leave a certain organization based on any wickedness. There was no sin in my household. It was some differences. You got congregational rules, then you got the laws. If I ain't with your congregational rules, I don't have to follow those congregational rules. And what I do, I moved on. All I ask, let us be in peace. Let us go continue to teach the scriptures. I don't want to have to keep hearing calls. Y'all did this. Y'all did that. And you know what? The men of those uh, organizations don't have the balls to even call me and say all this. I had to hear the third party, and I'm sick and tired of hearing it. All this false witness. So we was not put out. We left. We started our own school. And these logos, they wasn't pre-made no time, long time ago. It was made while we was in the midst of leaving. That's just the spirit of the Most High. I wasn't going to sit idle. I'm not going to let somebody destroy my spirit. You ain't going to scatter me away from the Most High. So we didn't leave. Secondly, no, you can't make my wife wear a certain dress. It's not scriptural. That's your congregational rule. You do it. No, I don't pull names out of a hat to uh, give no gifts for the Feast of Dedication. Do I have a problem with giving gifts? No. You can ask anybody who know us, we gave gifts. But I wasn't going to do the process of pulling a name out of a hat. To me, that's secret sound. You call it what you want. Third, no, we didn't do no money scam. We didn't do no money scam, send no email out asking people for funds to donate the law life. There was an email blast out coming from a previous site that we had. When you move websites, when a website is moving, you can send an email out to all the subscribers, letting them know that their website will move, their web address is moved. And on a signature, if any of y'all know about emails, you can have a signature at the bottom of your email. On the bottom of our email, every last email that goes out, it's gonna have links to all our associated uh, websites. And yes, there is a PayPal donate button on there. So if you read that email, you'll know we wasn't asking you for a penny. I just wanted to clear that up because I'm tired of all the lies I have to hear. And I take them as hearsay, but I'm going to straighten it because I don't tune in to foolishness no more. So I just wanted to clear that false witness that was out there put on Hezekiah and his family. And the ridicule that brothers and sisters had to get who decided to do what the Bible say and didn't want to be amongst that. 
Israel, it's time to stop playing games. It's time to do what this Bible says. That's why none of these curses are being lifted up off of us. Because we still acting like some darn fools. So I wanted to clear that up. One no money scam. I got over 70 videos out having asked for one dime from nobody. So examine the truth. I'm going to read this again. Sirach chapter 20 and verse 6. I just had to get that off. And we're going to continue on. Some man holding his tongue because he have not the answer. And I held my tongue. You know what? I don't have to answer foolishness. But you know, there's a lot of people out there wanting to know. It's a lot of confusion. It's a lot of people join in on that madness and don't even know us. Don't even know us, but you got so much to say. Now you got to take it up with the most high. You dug yourself a pit. That pit you tried to dig with us, you're going to fall in. And I pray you repent. Some man holding his tongue because he have not to answer. And some keep his silence, knowing his time. And the time is now. The time is over. Don't bear false witness against your brothers and sisters, brothers. Don't do that. It's time. Y'all need some. Obviously, it ain't being taught because brothers do it continually. You do it continually. Now, let me get back to where I was at. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 6. Israel, we just be some foolish people, man. That's why the most I said, y'all sodish. That's why Christ marveled at us. Y'all still act like some darn idiots. You got all, you see all these miracles. You see this truth. We see the prophecies going on in this Bible. Yet we still attacking one another. And we're allowing each other just to make somebody look good. Just to keep so many people amongst you. I don't give a darn about all that. I'm about this Bible. If you don't like it, you don't have to be amongst me. You don't like it, you don't have to say nothing to me. If you don't like a brother because they associate themselves with us, leave them alone. Do, do you. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 6. It's ridiculous. The getting of treasures by, by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. It says getting the getting of treasures by a lying tongue. If you got to get yourself all, uh, make yourself look all righteous and mighty by lying on another brother, that's on you. You seeking death. You seeking death. You getting your treasures, your, your reward by lying on somebody else. And then whether that's material stuff, whether it's uh, fame, Make yourself look like you ain't got no problems. Make yourself look like you're righteous. You brothers feel like these scriptures don't even attain to y'all. We get in here, we Israel now. Now all we do is dog the brothers and sisters who are lost. When the prophets was out here speaking, they were speaking to the children of Israel. We knew who we were. Christ was talking to Israelites. They knew who they, who they were. Now you go out here and just do whatever to anybody. And you all understand that you just, you can be you supposed to be a fisher. When you go fishing, let me give you a fishing tip. You don't have to be all loud and ruck, uh, uh, be all loud. You're gonna make the fish go away. Be quiet. Throw the bait out there. Show them how to show them they uh they transgressions in a different kind of way. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue. So if you got to discredit a brother, if you got to go on uh, social media, unfriend them, do this, that, they wicked as hell, and you don't even know what the deal is. You don't know the facts. You're a false brother. You, you bear false witness. You get your treasures, your fame through a lying tongue. It's a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. That's why y'all confused. That's why there's so much turmoil inside Israel. Too much lying going on. People do a lie to get vain glory, to make themselves look all righteous. You know better than a Creflo dollar. A lying tongue get his treasures. You get all your people amongst you with a lying tongue. And you're, gonna, you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay for it. Let's go to Sirach in the Apocrypha. 
So I'm just telling you on some of these scriptures about bad false witness. And I pray my brothers and sisters out there, take heed to the scriptures. The hell with me. Do what the Bible say. That's what I'm trying to strive to do. I'm not out here to be a respected person. That's what our people, that's what they want to do. So afraid to stand up for the truth. But you call yourself a lion. You call yourself a man of Israel, a mighty, valid warrior. And a bunch of you're a bunch of cowards. You make you make false YouTube names and come and uh downgrade a brother on this video instead of uplifting the brother. The script says exhort one another daily. Not cause lies, not cause discord. So rock chapter 20 and verse 4. Not 20, I mean 20 and verse 24. A lie is a foul block in a man. A lie is a foul block. It doesn't look good. Well, you're going to be found out to be liars. Because you know what? You already know you lied. A lot of you leaders out there know you lied. I'm going to use my situation because I don't talk about it. But you lie. And you sleep good at night. You lie. You lie on the sister. You lie on the brother. You lie on other brothers and sisters. And you sleep good at night because you're the damn devil. That's all. That's how all it can be. If you can actually know the truth and still continue in lies and discredit and bear false witness on your brother and sister, check your spirit. That's a. It's a foul. It's a. Let's read this again. It says, verse 24, this is Sirach 20 and 24. A lie is a foul block in a man. You get a foul, you get a block. You think the most high don't uh, know you lie? You don't, you don't think the most high know you lying? Check. Oh, you ain't repenting from it? Oh, you ain't to humble yourself? You're so spiritual and righteous. You can't go to the brother and sister. What happened to Matthew 18 and 15? A lot of you brothers and sisters are out there. Y'all have issues with brothers and sisters, but won't come to them and say that. You'll run off and go lie to other brothers and sisters about it to make yourself look good, to make yourself get some sympathy and some pity. I'm not going to play with you Israelite brothers and sisters who know enough scriptures to run around here and run your mouth, but you, can't, you ain't got the heart to uh, be 100 with your bro fellow brother and sister. You're not going to get the same treatment as a brother and sister who's lost or you know who they are. Playtime is over. That's what we do. We, we keep playing with each other. Most of the time, he's laughing at us. Look at these idiots. They gave the truth. They're still acting like some Negroes. Wonder why they can't grow. You think because you're growing in numbers, you ain't doing a damn thing in the community. A lie is a foul block in a man, yet is continually in the mouth of the untaught. That's why you keep lying. You're unlearned. You think you know all these scriptures, but you really don't know a darn thing. You're untaught. Because you know what? You will know the scripture in uh, Exodus 20 and 16, not to bear false witness on your brother. You'll know that a liar is going to perish. You'll know all these things if you were so learned. You'll apply these things. It's a difference between reading the Bible, reading it, and then applying it at the same time. It's a difference. There's plenty of so-called Christians, our brothers and sisters in Christianity or whatever doctrine they're in, they read the Bible. They know plenty of scriptures. Still unlearned because they don't apply. And that's what we do in Israel also. We, 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 we put, it's like you might well still be celebrating Halloween. You put on a costume. That's all you're doing. Career day. I'm going to be an Israelite, but I ain't an Israelite. Verse 25. This is Sirach in the Apocrypha chapter 20 and verse 25. A thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie. It said a thief. I'd rather have a thief around me who will steal this pad than a brother or sister who sit around me uh secretly just want to see what you're talking about then they can run off and go gospel about it or they can go lie on you 
Oh, they ain't do this, they ain't do that. It says a thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie. Because we quit to lie. Because we ain't throw away the old man. We some liars. Most I said we some lying children. He ain't saying that just for the hell of it. He know who way he created. But but they both shall have destruction to heritage. And a thief, because you thou shall not steal, thou shall not bear false witness, you both gonna be put to death. But I'd rather have that thief. Because I know that thief, he stole my stuff, I can keep that thief away from. Him. Liars, it's kind of hard. Because they can sit up in your face, smile, lie, they die. And then just gonna be spreading all kinds of stuff to make themselves look good. That's all they do it for. It's for self gratitude, gratification. Because you know what? The most I'm gonna put you to death. Trust that. We continue to read verse 26. The deposition of a liar is dishonorable, and his shame is ever with him. It's a dishonorable thing to be a liar. And you know what? I pray you, brothers and sisters, who've been told all them lies about any brother or sister. You know you didn't lie. I hope you feel ashamed right now. But I do pray that you repent. I do. I want all Israel to be saved. But we know that ain't that ain't what the Bible say. Two thirds gonna be cut off. Let's continue. Let's go to Matthew chapter fifteen. Israel sit around playing games. That's all we do. Just wanna just play game? We just we just get on these videos just for the hell of it. We, we don't really care about our people. We don't really care about each other. We don't. Because if we easily to lie on each other, you don't care about the brother. You don't care about the sister. If you can easily tell a lie on your brother and bear false witness on him, you, you don't care for you don't care for Israel. Trust me, you don't. I don't give a darn what you say. Let's let's go hear what Christ got to say about you. Matthew chapter 15, and I'm going to uh, start at verse 16. And Jesus said, Are ye also yet without understanding? All, all this learning, all this studying, all these classes you all be in, are you still without understanding? It seems to be. Because you can, you can tell by the actions of our people. You ain't, have, you ain't learned a thing. You don't have no understanding. You may sound good, but you don't understand a darn thing. Verse 17, do not ye un yet understand that whatsoever entereth at the, at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast in, 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 and is cast out into the draught. So when Christ was getting on the Pharisee, because every time I oh how you gotta wash your hands, do all this, they traditions, like a lot of these organizations are doing, gotta bring they, or, or their tradition into the Bible. And if a brother or sister don't apply to that particular tradition, they wicked, they defile. And did no sin now. Can't say no wickedness they did. Can't say that. But they wicked as hell. How can you use they ain't did no wickedness, but they wicked as hell? Something ain't right. You know, you ain't got no understanding of these scriptures. So the Pharisees were talking about you wash your hand, you eat, you defile. I just told you, it ain't what's going in your mouth. You're going to go in the belly. You're going to let it out. You know, the, the most high, he got, he got something for that waste, that poison you might got in. Let's continue on. Uh, verse 18. But those things which proceed out thy mouth, but them things that come out your mouth, not going in your mouth, but coming out your mouth, come forth from the heart. It come from your mind. You thinking of these things. This is what's on your heart, your mind. You say what you feel. You say what you think. You say what you know. And a lot of you say stuff because you don't know. You're untaught. You're unlearned. But you think you know. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart. And they defile the man. That's what defiling you, what you say. Scripture says every idle word you speak. But do Israel consider that? No. We 
says, yeah, 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 yeah. I got to go in. I got to blast. Got to, I got to showcase this on the internet to everybody. You don't take the brothers and talk to them themselves and get the get the understanding and map everything out. Say, okay, examine everything. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, okay. Now I got some understanding. But no, I got to, woo, I'm mighty. I got to say what I got to say. And in the midst of that, you bear false witness on brothers and sisters. Look mighty. You're going to be that mighty charcoal. And one that got the big flame on it. Just everlasting burner. They're gonna cook that burner good. Get, get that steak up on that one. So what's coming out your mouth is what defiles you, especially if it's bad false witness. We're gonna get those attributes. Verse 19. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts. But if you were studying and you knew how to handle your brothers and sisters according to the scriptures. Your, your thought process will be different. But no, we go based on how we feel, how we see things. We're not doing what the Most High tells us to do. We may hold his word in our hand, but we don't do what he do. We don't do as he say. A lot of us have been twilliquist dummies. Just got your, the, the man got his hand up your back. And you doing, he moving your mouth like this, and you see him speaking. It ain't you. You need to do what the Bible say. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, murders. If you hate your brother in your heart, you're a murderer. If you can bear false witness on your brother, you're a murderer. So that's hatred, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness. Brothers, false. Brothers, false witness, bad false witness on brothers left and right in this truth now. For what? Bring the brother into a council. Bring the brother or sister into a, 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 a council that you bringing out the facts. Just like they do in the courtroom. You want to do everything else Esau doing. Do that. Esau did the facts on you first. Then they bring you before the judge and the jury. They build a case. No, not Israel. I'm saying it now. I got to say it now. I heard this. I'm doing that. False witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile man. That's what defiles you. But you don't even think about that. You don't think that you bear false witness because you're unlearned. You're not even considering. You're not even thinking of it. They said it. Or the leader said, is it? I'm doing what the leader said. Let's do it. Got to be right. Got to be right. And a lot of you sit amongst brothers and sisters, you fake as a $2 uh, nickel. And it ain't a such thing. You fake as that. Because you'll sit there and don't believe none of the stuff that you are with. You don't, you're you not in agreement with it. But you know what? They popular. I got to sit here. There's so many of them. They're all over the globe. I must sit here. But you don't, you're going to be put to death because you fake. Brothers be fake because you keep it real by keeping these scriptures. No matter what nobody got to say. You worry about what the Father which are in heaven got to say. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed washing hands defile him not a man. So that's why I'm saying Christ was talking to the Pharisees because they were brought in their own doctrine. Oh, he washed his hands up to his elbows and all this. He defiled. No, nah, we're coming out your mouth to defile you. That bearing that false witness, them lies y'all telling on people. You talk to these leaders. You got a lot of brothers scared to talk to the leaders. Rebuke by the elder. That ain't what that scripture telling you. It tell you to rebuke them openly. If they admit, where, where the love at? If I got a if I got an elder over me, and I see him in the midst of wickedness, my love is to show him his wickedness. It's on him to take it or not. But you ain't gonna give me no rebuke, no elder, and then you're rebuking everybody else uh, openly. Nah, that ain't what that's talking about. That ain't what it's talking about. Let's jump up to verse 14. Because I say, I say, I made a statement. 
Brothers and sisters are following these false accusations toward brothers and sisters and don't even know the facts. They'll go run with it. They hate your guts. Don't even know you. Don't even know what the real facts were. But that the fact that somebody said it, who they feel is righteous, who they think is wise, you follow that. Let's see what Christ had to say about that. Let's jump up to verse 14, Matthew 15, verse 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. He said, let them alone. Let them leave you alone. Because I already know what's going on. You better drag me into a pit. If I'm going to be put to death, it's going to be on my own foolishness. I ain't going to follow the foolishness of another person. That's just like we used to do in the world. You will have, you will have a group of brothers sitting out or sisters sitting out talking about another brother and sister. Then when that brother and sister come up, the, the atmosphere ain't right. You all shaded to the sister just because you're basing it on what that person is said. You might not have no beef with the so-called brother or sister. They get into a fight, you jumping on the brother and sister too. Like, what the hell, you, what you doing it for? Oh, God, they said this, that, and that, it must be right. You know how many people that have been put in the dirt because of that foolishness? So I imagine how many are going to be burnt and burnt up for it. Let's read this again. Matthew 15, verse 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. You both going to pay. If you attach yourself, associate yourself with them lies. If you, if you agree with them lies. Instead of saying, hey, I don't know nothing about that now. I ain't see all that. I ain't hear all that. I ain't witness all that. I ain't, I ain't got no proper facts to just say, yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm with that. Love of you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, friend. You ain't with me. Unfriend us. Who gives a damn? You ain't heard nobody feelings with that. That's how knuckleheads you are. Y'all actually think that hurts somebody's feelings. And that's the, that's the spirit being put on brothers and sisters. You see it. It's ridiculous. It's hurtful to see that spirit on a brother and sister who had the audacity to say, if you ain't with such and such, do me the honors and unfriend me. And we're supposed to be all Israel. I don't give a damn if it's called law life, if it's called whatever, whatever, whatever. We still all Israel. We all supposed to be doing the work of the most high. Trying to bring in the one third, trying to get salvation for ourselves. But no, nah. no, nah. I got the truth. You mean this? This is where the truth is. No, nah, this is where the truth is right here. It's in the Bible. That's where the truth is. You better check yourself. Let's go to. Uh, I said sitting around, sitting up amongst people, all fake. Let's go to Galatians 2 and 4. We need to stop that, man. If you don't believe what a person got going on, it's, it, instead of you just opening your mouth and say, hey, I don't, I, don't, I don't too much agree with this or this, that, and the third. Hey, oh, cool. If it ain't, especially if it ain't, if it ain't nobody breaking the laws of the Bible, Brother teaching these Bible, if a brother teaching this Bible, he trying to be an example for Israel, he ain't bringing out no fault. Uh, he, they, that's the doctrine that they put it out. What damn doctrine are we putting out? Keep the laws of the most high? You damn right. That's the that's what's coming out of law life. That's why it's called law life. We try to teach our people to keep the laws. That's what you need to do. That's what you're gonna get salvation. That doctrine they putting out. What doctrine? Say it. Stop saying that doctrine and tell me what doctrine it is. But you'll sit amongst and just smile. <laughs> you burn up. I hope you got a grin on your face then. Hope you smile brighter than the flames. Let's go to Galatians 2 or 4. I'm, I'm just fed up with Israel, man. So we sit here and lollygag while a lot of people out here getting put to death. These people, our brothers and sisters, need answers out here. We started battling each other within Israel. 
Galatians chapter 2 and verse 4. And, 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 and that because of false brethren unawares brought in who came in privily to spy out our liberties. You got, now they was talking about services and then they was all, uh, had brothers come in trying to whisper in them, no, oh, brother, you got, you got to do it, the old law. Law, mother, we got to do sacrifices and this and that and third. But you hear what, you sitting there seeing what a person got going on. Hmm. Well, yeah, what you got? Yeah. Then you run back. Yeah, they talk about this. They talk about that. They said this. They said it. Stop being a coward. But that makes the Bible a true book to me. You're going to have that amongst you. You're going to have that. The scripture. How you deal with it? You keep doing the laws of the Most High. You keep talking what the Bible says. You will not be confounded. Who cares about it? And that because of false brethren. False brethren. Yeah, there's some fake brothers out there. They'll shalom you. Some fake sisters, they'll shalom you. You'll sit out on the street corners and teach with them. But in actuality, they some fake brothers. Because they allow you. In one, in one breath, oh, the great teacher, they do oh, the good, good. Oh, that nigga wicked as hell. He wicked, he following this. Dang, for real? You just kudos with me in the, a second ago. And then because of false brethren on the wells brought in, some people bring in confusion. People have motives. If you ain't coming trying to build Israel, you ain't trying to build up the nation. You want to come in and pull down brothers who trying to do the work of the most high. Due to it, you might be idle, ain't doing a dang thing. You want to bring down a brother's spirit or a sister's spirit. Yeah, the sisters got to do work too. I got to be all weak for a woman because I encourage the women. I encourage my wife to study. You dang right. She got to work out her own salvation. How she going to do it? She don't know the Bible. You don't love your wife. You don't love your sisters. When you gonna be a man? Stop being a boy. Verse four again, and that because a false brother unaware is brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberties, trying to see the liberty. You know, we had peace here. We want to bring peace in Israel. We want brothers to learn the laws and keep it without burdens, without all the traditions of men, without all the stipulations. Just do what the Bible says, and we can grow. We can we can we can gather together. You can be at this camp, that camp. You can be, you're gonna be across the globe. As long as we unify under these laws, statutes, and commandments, that's how it's gonna be. Despite your liberties, which we have in Christ Jesus, we got liberty. We got freedom in this in the word. All we got to do is what the Bible say. Don't add on to it. Don't lie on a brother who's who's who want to do what the Bible say. Don't lie on a sister because they just want to do what the Bible say. They don't need all that extra stuff. I don't need no side uh, sides with my chicken. I just want the chicken. I don't want the milk. I don't need no cookies. Spy out the liberty. Let's see what they doing over there. What they, what they, oh, they ain't doing nothing. We doing it all. It's all good. Do it. Hell, all praises. We don't get no uh, hero cooking for doing what the Most High tell us to do. Which we have in Christ Jesus that they might bring, on to, bring us into bondage. You want to bring a brother back into bondage. If you ain't doing what we said like this, that, and the third, got to go. Or we're going to blast y'all on the internet, make you feel bad. Just like you saw. Eat my extracts. That's all it is. Instead of being brothers, instead of showing love, just, just do that. But the spirit ain't it. 
The spirit ain't in. Let's go to Sirach 27 and 23. Like I said, sit amongst y'all fake. Keep it real. You, we men. You're supposed to be women. Came to shalom each other. That's sad. But you'll shalom the heck out of them darn Edomites and them other heathens on your jaw. Hey, how you doing, sir? One of your brothers walked by your sister. Don't like him. He ain't with our group. You'll be put to death. Group that. Sick. I'm sick of Israel. I'm sick of the wickedness. I just see so many of our brothers and sisters' spirit be broken over foolishness, over pettiness. And ain't nobody saying that. We just sit there and just let it go. Everybody sit a and say it's cool. But everybody up here know it ain't right. But they ain't saying they're scared. Respect the persons. Respect the most high. He's not a man to lie. So Rock 27 and verse 23. When, when thou art present, he will speak sweetly. Here go your faith, brothers and sisters. They wish you on know, that brother. Wow, yeah, that, I like that brother. I like that sister. She's so knowledgeable. She know how to, she got good recipes. She she very helpful and this, that, and the third. Then you then the bike will come at you when they turn it back. When thou art present, he will speak sweetly and he will admire thy words. But at the last he will rip his mouth and slander thy saying. Slander. False being a false witness towards you. Yeah, you know that. That brother, that, that he doing this and that and third. If a brother or sister in the midst of wickedness, why you don't tell that brother and sister the wickedness they in? First, before you go put it all over the internet, why don't you talk to that brother and sister? Before you talk to it in your whole congregation, why don't you approach that brother and sister? Do it in order, in decent, in order. There ain't no damn order. Israel didn't run, run amok. We just wilding out here. We know different than our brothers and sisters who are lost. You still lost. Speak sweetly when they're in front of you. False. I'll bear false witness on you in a minute. It's, that's, that's, that's sad. But you know what? The most high, he, he's guiding those people. He's guiding those people. Let's go to uh, Sirach 11 and verse 7. Because this is what our people don't do. All your, your way of life is in the Bible. Don't bear false witness. Before you do that, let's do this. Sirach 11 and 7. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Examine the situation. Since you brought it to everybody's business, you said that everybody know what's going on. Examine. Write the facts to it. Let's, let's do a fact check. Okay, you say this? Let me hear that, brother. Let me hear that. Let me hear what they had to say. Oh, yeah? I'm so sick of getting uh, messages on my uh, videos. You got kicked out. And it, hold up, bro. I ain't get kicked out, bro. I left. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100. I left because I don't roll like that. I'm about my people. I ain't about discrediting. I ain't about bashing people. I love Israel. I love brothers. I ain't got no ill will with no brother or sister from any organization I came from or nowhere. If you ain't about this Bible, you got to deal with the most high. I don't have to deal with you. 11 to 7. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. That's why I say you're untaught, you're unlearned. That's why the scripture say that, because you don't do it, you don't follow this. Understand first, then rebuke. Get some understanding before you go run in your trap. A lot of us do that. And you know when you run in your trap? 
with the lack of understanding, you bear false witness. You put yourself into a hole just because you want to follow the crowd at child time. It must be right if that brother said it. Okay. Believe that. Do as you do as you wilt. Y'all always on Jay-Z talking about he talking about some do as you will. That's what a lot of y'all do. Do as you will. And you will wilt. Let's read this one more time. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Understand first, then rebuke. Let's go to the book of Susanna. In the apocrypha. We go into the book of Susanna. Our brothers don't stand up for the truth, man. False brethren. All we do is talk mess. I love the most high. I do this. But ain't do, you, yeah, do, your actions are totally opposite than what the Bible is saying. You don't, you don't, you don't examine the truth. You're a bad false witness. Just like and that those judgments and those things that you wish upon brothers and sisters, it's gonna happen to you. Let's get an example of that. I want you to take your time to go read the story of Susanna and where Daniel was a young brother, had wisdom, and he rebuked some elders. But y'all skip that. Because a lot of y'all are some, some little Frady cats, as they used to say. But you're lions. <laughs> you're lying. That's what you're doing. Uh, Susanna. And I'm going to read verse 61. And they arose against two elders, for Daniel had convicted them of false witness by their own mouth. So you ain't going to get that. Because you know what? We don't take time to examine the truth. They don't, ain't nobody going to allow you that. It's, it's what I said it is, and that's it. I gave the order, it's done. Don't question me. Don't rebuke no elders now. You can't do that. What I say is, that's it. It's biblical. Huh. Let's read this again. And they, and they wrote, arose against two elders, for Daniel had convicted them of false witness by their own mouth. They examined the truth. You said this about this sister. Then you'll use this story also. Husband can't say that to a sister when the congregation is rebuking her. She was, she was, uh, uh, it was an accusation of uh, adultery on her. Not oh, she's doing my 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 bread recipe. False witness by their own mouth. Verse sixty-two. And according to the law of Moses, they did unto them in such sort as they maliciously intended to do to their neighbor, and put them to death. Thus the innocent blood of innocent blood was saved that day. The same, the same thing y'all wish evil against a brother and sister. If you got if you have the spirit to unfriend me, you got the spirit of brother, you ain't too young, if you ain't been in the truth long enough. Oh, he this, he that. I hope you fail. Oh, I see your little videos. Ain't nobody gonna listen to you. That's evil. What happened to you exhort Israel? But y'all only exhort one another in, in, amongst yourselves. <laughs> That's your reward. Enjoy. They was put to death. So you're going to get that same punishment whatever you think up here towards a brother or sister. You think the most I don't know your thoughts? <laughs> You know your thoughts. Let's go to Proverbs 16 and 9. Because like I said, this might be the most high will that a lot of brothers have lying spirits on their bare false witness. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 16. I don't question the most high. I ain't questioning. You may have put that spirit on some of the brothers to do that foolishness. We're going to Proverbs chapter 16 and I want verse 9. A man's heart, a man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directed his step. You may want to be in righteousness. You may say you about this business, about the most high, 
but he directs your steps on according to where you're going to go. You're supposed to be going according to these scriptures. That's how it should be. Uh, you will pray that he's directing you. But you know what? Let's get an example. Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 22 and verse 22. Most High directed your steps. Some of us got to be the example of what not to be. Some of us got to be the example of what to aspire to be according to the scriptures. Our examples are in here. I'm trying to emulate the brothers who did good. That's what I try to do. That's what we instill in our brothers and sisters amongst us. And we instill it to the brothers and sisters who out there may be listening. Do what the Bible say. First Kings chapter 22, and I'm going to start at verse 19. Because the Most High, he sat down and took counsel with brothers, his brethren, who was amongst him, before he acted. They examined the situation that Ahab was going through before they made the decision. They didn't just bear false witness on the brother and say, we're going to do this to him. Nah. First Kings chapter 22 and verse 19. And he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the host of heaven standing by him on the right, on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab? that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. So the most I ask you, who going who to persuade this wicked uh, Ahab? Because it's time for him to be punished. How are we going to persuade him to get up here and uh, fall at Ray, uh, Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this matter, and another said on that matter. They was going, hey, I can do it this way. I can do it that way. Verse 21, and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. Here come that spirit. I persuade him. I got some for him. Verse 22, and the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And the most I said, what, what you got? Let's see what you got. They counsel working together. The most high, the almighty, he could just say, I don't want to hear nothing that y'all got to say. But we have leaders who will do that. We don't want to hear what y'all got to say. We're going to do this. I'm going to do this my way. And the Lord said unto him, Where will? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Oh! So if there's a spirit of lying, it can be in some of these prophets' mouths. If the Most High chooses. And there's a lot of so called prophets out here. Who's uh, prophesying, teaching the Most High laws? Got that lying spirit in their mouth. Louder brother instantly. Louder sister instantly. Bear false witness. And he said, "Thou shalt persuade him and prevail. Also, go forth and do so." The Most High said, "Go do it." Cause you know what, the Most High do that so you can go up and fall wherever He wants you to fall. That's his business. Who am I to question the most high? Why would you do that, most high? I'm going to read verse 23. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of, of in the mouth of all these prophets, and the Lord has spoken evil concerning them. You're going to be put to death. What he do? He made you go on a lie. It could be some of your wickedness that you are pre-done already. The most high said, okay. We're going to put a lying spirit in them to lead these other brothers and sisters. Because they ain't coming in truth and sincerity. They just, some of them just around just to be around. Some of, some of the sisters or whatever just pleased to dwell. Ain't, ain't they studying the Bible? Ain't searching for the most high. Not trying to apply my law, statutes, and commandments. So I'm going to put this lying spirit in them so they can fall. And whoever blind leading the blind, they're going to fall with them. So we should be asking the Most High not to do that. We should be asking the Most High not to do that. Let's go to uh, 
This is a possible cure for you. Let's go to Sirach 38 and 15. For the most high show mercy upon whom he chooses. Sirach 38 and verse 15. Sirach 38 and verse 15. Mm, not 30 and 15. I wanted um well not that one. That ain't the one I wanted. That's not the one I wanted. He that said it. No, let's go to Psalms 119 and verse 133. My apologies. Psalms 119 and verse 133. We read that the most high direct is your steps. We, we got an example where he can put a lying spirit upon you. He took counsel to do that. So he obviously wanted to hear what the other brothers had to say about it. The other spirits. What you got. What you can bring to the table. What can you bring to the table? A lot of our brothers don't even want to bring that to the table. They just want to sit amongst people. Then when it comes time to labor, they don't want to do that. They'll make up some lies on you. Uh, Psalms 119, verse 133. I hate vain thoughts. I'm not that one. I mean one, uh, 133. Order my steps in thy word. Ask the most how to order your steps in the word, not what man got. But y'all don't seek the most high. You don't seek the counsel of the most high. Y'all rather follow whatever a man got to say. And the man may be bearing false witness on a brother or sister. But y'all don't consider that. Because you just uh you're you're, you're a respected person. So David was telling the most, asking the most high. Order my steps in thy word, and let not thy, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Don't let that lying spirit have dominion over me, Lord. You order my steps according to your word. And that's how y'all brothers can do it if you read, if you study. You have to look at some of these brothers. They might be just guided you to learn how to use the Bible. Apollos, uh, Paul used an analogy. Uh, Gamaliel planted, Apollos seeded. I mean, Paul planted, Apollos uh, water, but the most high gave the increase. You've been taught how to use it. Use it. Don't worry about what a brother got to say. If it ain't according to the scriptures, brother, I can't, I can't partake in that. I can't partake in if you're lying on a brother. I can't, I can't, I can't be quick to just take that judgment. I can't be quick to that. Let me let me see for myself. I'm a wrong, I'm a wrong man. Let me see. Let me read. Let me examine the truth. Then I can say, you know what? Okay. If not, be like, uh, scripture say this, scripture say that. That did not happen. But we don't do that. We don't do that. Uh, what else I want? I want one more scripture out of here, and I'm going to let it be. Let's go to Sirach and the Apocrypha. I just want to touch on false witness. Bear false witness. The scripture says, Exodus 26 says, shall not bear false witness. You, you lie on a brother or sister, you're going to be put to death. You will not go unpunished. That sums it all up. Let's go to Sirach 20 right quick. And I may, uh, I want to make touch on that statement I made earlier again about brothers of sit amongst brothers, knowing they ain't doing right, knowing they ain't doing correct according to what the scriptures add on to the scriptures, but you still sit amongst that and associate yourself with it because you're afraid for one thing to step out on your own. You're afraid to. Go step with brothers and sisters who might be, who are talking about keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. We worry about what other people are going to say about us. Everybody ain't built to take 
slander. Everybody ain't built to take that harassment that you get. But if you study, you know that's going to happen. You, you, you believe in this Bible, you know that's going to happen. Put on the whole armor of God, you'll be able to withstand all that mess. You won't get offended when somebody say, unfriend them. Who cares? Bye. Use Facebook for uplifting your people. All I see is battles, the battleground. So rock chapter 20, and I want verse 22. 20 and verse 22. There is that destroy his, there is that, there is that destroy his own soul through bashfulness. There no, you, you out there, you destroy your own soul due to your bashfulness. You're being timid, being afraid. Oh, I can't say that because this is, he's this and that. He been in the truth, this, that, and that. But you know he's wrong. You know, hold on, that went, that went right, man. There is that destroyed his own soul through bashfulness and by accepting of persons overthrowing himself. Like my brother says, it's nice. You're spiritual units. You don't have the, the loins. You've been cut off. And you're scared. You're afraid to stand up for the most high. Most high say, who's going to stand up for me? Against the evil doers. Y'all don't think that's evil to bear false witness on a brother or a sister. It is. Don't give a darn how many scriptures you know. How many videos you got. How many places you travel around the world. Evil is evil. Uh, what else I want? That's all I want. That's all I got. That's all I want. Let's break bread. Israel, man. It vexes you. You have to sit around, you have to sit at your workplace and listen to all the wickedness. And you you, you reflect on it because there's a lot of stuff that you used to do. Now that you don't do it anymore, it's just just like I used the that. You smoke cigarettes. Now you smell cigarettes, it's ugh, disgusting. Then you get around brothers and sisters righteous, supposed to be, and then they wicked as hell. They can't get it right. Don't want to get it right. We'll allow the brother in a minute to make themselves look good. And call that righteousness. That's a reprobated mind. You're lacking understanding. All right. Let's break bread. For I received of the Lord that which I also, also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took this cup and he had soup, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink of this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink of this cup unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and let him that eat, and let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation unto himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. In the name of the Messiah, our Lord, Savior, King, and first group, we pray. Amen. So Israel, it's time to stop playing. It's time to stop playing and keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. It was one scripture I did want. Let's go to Sirach right quick before I close out. Let's go to Sirach 21 and I want verse 9. Because I said if you associate yourself with liars, 
you associate yourself with evil doers, you're going to get the same judgment. You're going to get the same uh, punishment. If I was riding down the street with some guys and they got 100 kilos in the, in the van, when the cops pull over, I'm going to prison also. So when Christ returns, and you're in the midst and you know wickedness is going on and you don't stand up for the most high or you try to rebuke and correct this situation or you just sit there quietly and not doing nothing, you're going to catch the same flames. Let's get it. So Rock chapter 21 and verse 9. The congregation of the wicked is like tow wrapped together. It said the congregation of the wicked, a, a group of wicked doers. You're like a tow wrapped together. A tow is you have a torch and they had the, the tar and the thing on the end that you use to light the flame so you can see. A tow. The congregation of the wicked is like tow wrapped together and the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. You know, all be burnt together. You lie together, you burn together. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, 26. Before we go there, let me read, let me read the law one more time. Commandment corner. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Exodus chapter 20, verse 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy brother. So if that spirit come upon you and you feel you got to lie on a brother, pray to the most high. You got to feel you got to lie on a sister. Feel, pray to the most high to take that spirit off of you. Pray. Fast. Ask the most high. Don't do it, most high. I want to live righteousness. Order my steps according to thy word. Now let's go to Matthew 26. Playtime over, Israel. Playtime is over. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box, a very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. So Christ was sitting down eating, and this woman came, and she poured some ointment upon his head, some precious ointment. But when the disciples saw it, they, they had indignation, saying, to what purpose is this waste? And when the disciples saw the end of the nation, they was mad. What you doing, sister? Why are you pouring this oil? Why are you wasting this oil on Christ's head? Well, this oil that might have been sold for much and given to the poor. We could have sold it and gave it to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she wrought a good work upon me. Why y'all bothering this sister? She did a good work upon me. There you go. Bad false witness. What you doing? Know, we could have did that. She wasted it. No, she was doing something. Hold your tongue. Examine the truth. Get some understanding. For ye have the poor always with you, but me you have not always. Christ said, you don't always have the poor with you. I ain't going to be with y'all always. And y'all ain't listen to what I've been telling you. He was fit to death. He was crucified. That's why he said that. For in that she had wrought, she had poured this, for, for in that she had poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. She did it for my burial, brothers. She was preparing me for my burial. She wasn't wasting it. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman have done be told for a memorial of her. And the fact that she did this, whatever y'all going out preaching this gospel, y'all need to tell what this sister did to me by preparing me for my burial. And with that, brothers and sisters, I pray you have a blessed, happy, and restful Sabbath. Shalom.